hello everyone uh, welcome back to my channel so if you are new to my channel i request you to subscribe and show some support to me so let's move to the video so from this video i am going to take you through two important parameters in chat gpt actually not only in chat gpt for other language models also we have these parameters so before that if you don't know what is a parameter a parameter is some kind of a value that user can set to change the configuration of a machine learning model so normally when we are using large language models we use default parameters but we can change them depending on our use cases to get better results based on these configurations we can get totally different results for a given input so the parameters we are discussing here are temperature and the top p so in order to get idea first let's see what is the effect of these parameters to language generation all right so basically both of these parameters decides the deterministic nature of a language model if we set higher values to temperature and top p values the deterministic nature of the language model became lower in other words language model will behave more random manner in such configuration if we generate outputs for same given input prompt every time it generates something different and random this can also be considered as the creativity of a language model so uh, if we are thinking about use cases for the use cases such as story writing writing poems instances such as generating titles or taglines in such cases we can use top p and uh, higher top p and temperature values because we can get randomized answers and we can combine these to get more uh, effective output so by the other hand if we set temperature and top p to lower values language generation will be more deterministic so here most probable words would take place basically with the temperature zero we can reproduce the same output for a given input prompt so in this case also the use cases uh, would be question answering kind of things where the factual accuracy is more important than the creativity or the randomness okay next let's discuss how these are different from each other so in a generative language model the primary task is to predict the next token so let's assume in a given time the language model is trying to guess the next token so here what happens is it will measure the probability of each of the word in its vocabulary to be used as the next token so in this scenario tokens will be sorted based on the probability and we can assume these tokens are x1 x2 x3 and so on given in this figure so first let's uh, consider what is top p parameter so top p decides the size of the pool which the next token is to be picked up here what happens is it will consider the smallest set of tokens from the front where their cumulative probability is more than the provided top p value so in this example the top p value is set to 0.6 and tokens x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 will be chosen as the pool where their cumulative probability is 0.66 or 7 which is greater than 0.6 so with the top p the pool will be chosen as 
tokens x1 to x5. So basically this will be the pool which the next token will be picked up from. Next if we consider the temperature, temperature is set to decide the variance within the pool we selected. So if the temperature is higher value then the chance can be given to even least probable candidates in the pool such as x5. If the temperature is lower the chance will be given to the tokens such as x1 and x2. If the temperature is zero it will always pick the most probable token which is x1. That's why in every time it reproduce the results. So basically this is the general idea behind this if we are not going to technical details. So this is an example of how top P and temperature works. I will show the extreme ends only so that you can understand how it works in between as well. So here top P and temperature both set to one where it give the language model the best flexibility. So top P is equal to one means the entire vocabulary is probable as the pool of candidates. So the temperature one means again any from the top from the pool can be taken as the next token. So here I am generating a tagline for a coffee shop and I am getting best creativity here. All the tags are diverse and random so that I can combine these to generate a better one. So these are to showcase what happens if we set zero to either of these two parameters. Here it will reproduce the same results in the all the iterations. So this is the basic idea behind top P and temperature parameters in ChatGPT as well as other language models. So I hope you have learned something from this video. If so, please make sure to subscribe and show some support to me. So see you from the next video. Thank you for watching.